I personally believe in common sense. Common sense also extends to all cultures. And we are here tonight in a cultural setting. I'm really happy that I was invited to attend. I, along with everyone here, and there are no exceptions for the people running for office tonight, we all want economic growth. We all want more done in the area of arts and culture. There isn't an argument here at all. What we differ in may be our method of obtaining these things. Culture and the arts are important elements of any community. They, like magnets, attract new people. And these new people bring in with them new ideas, new energy, and new opportunities for our city to grow. <coughs> Through our cultures and the arts, we have vehicles that provide us with ways to share experiences, ways to share fun, ways to share knowledge without boundaries and ways to enhance everyone's lives. The development of a stable city supported by cultural events will provide another engine for economic growth, and it's a powerful engine. If you want things as before, keep doing what you did before. Change is the rule of life. I learned that in 10th grade science. To adapt, evolve, and move forward, we need to embrace change. I stand for all positive Question number four attacks the fact that in the 50s and 60s, the Franklin Cones were the majority of residents here in Cornwall. I'm a team player. I respect people. The program should be developed to assist people coming back to their roots in many ways, perhaps as part as our push for arts and culture center here, a part that that center could be utilized for the preservation and the presentation of the French culture. Such an area as that should be funded and provided by the city. This would be an ideal way to involve both current and new residents with French heritage. Both the heritage and the entertainment aspects of French culture could be showcased here. It would be a big asset for our city to provide space necessary for this. And I definitely would support this, and I definitely would support any kind of money to have this evolve. An arts and culture center would be for you to, to show us what you had, where you came from, and what kind of place you are in now. It would benefit everyone. It would be great. And I would support this. Thank you. Number four. The new council is going to have to work together as a strong team. They're going to need common goals with clear objectives. And one of those objectives, one of those objectives, comes from this group here tonight. Bonjour, hello, my name is Marc A. McDonald. Je, je m'appelle Marc A. McDonald. I have a website if you want to get more information, markamcdonald.com. And I encourage you not only to get information about myself, I encourage you to get information about all the candidates here especially the newer candidates that haven't had much of an opportunity to present themselves. I had the opportunity to stop in and see Suzanne at the Saint Culturel because they moved and I thought it was terrible uh, the, the, uh, where you had to move from. You had such a beautiful place and now you're crammed into those small quarters. And the reason that I think that it was terrible is because the last four years on this council have been disastrous. If you're paying attention to the news, if you're paying attention to local events, they've been disastrous. I can name a number of issues why, but I won't. I will name only one. They let the general hospital slip right through their fingers. That building could have been used for the common good and the social benefit of the community, and it could have been used as a, part of it could have been used as a permanent home for the Song Culturel. The biggest, <coughs> the biggest thing facing the new council is going to be the budget and how they handle the budget. But for, a, but for the former council to vote a 40% raise for the new council coming in, I think, it's, I think that it's an, it's an injustice and I think, it's a, I think it's a slap in the face to all the hard workers, all the volunteers that work out there at all the service clubs, 
They're blowing that trumpet that they deserve it. They work hard. Every service club volunteer I talk to works hard, if not harder. As a member of, as a member of your new council, I will support the efforts and the endeavors of the Francophone community. I encourage you to, I encourage you to look up all the information, especially on the, on the major issues. And on October 27th, I would appreciate your support. Thank you very much.